old mill uh, and restaurant. And if y'all haven't never been there before, uh, recommend y'all going there. We try to eat here at least one time when we're here. And uh, we'll probably be going today to eat lunch. And uh, let me just show you right here. Y'all can see that they got like a, a gift shop right here. And this is the uh, Old Mill restaurant. So, uh, also we're gonna take you over there and show you on the other side of it the uh, the the water mill. I mean the what do you call it? The water wheel. The water wheel and show you the little uh, pigeon pigeon river I believe runs through there. So we're gonna take you over there and show you that. And they real bees up here today, y'all. This is a Saturday, so let's go ahead and walk over here, Tosh. They have uh, ducks. Let me see. Let me show you this right. show you what what we ordered and uh, we'll be back in a little bit you on video too boy I'll try we made in here and uh, go ahead and tell them what you got. Okay, we've got the homemade uh, corn chowder, and then we have some homemade corn fritters. Don't think they can hear you. What is that now? Uh, corn fritters and then corn chowder. Corn chowder and, and then they corn fritters and they biscuit. Give this, uh, homemade. Very good. Home, homemade uh, sweet cream, butter cream. Anyway, it's some kind of sweet cream dip with your fritters here and go and try it out there. You good? How about you some? Take your bite of that. Good. Bubba, you want to try some? Take a bite right here. See what you think about it. <laughs> Is it good? All right, y'all. We'll be back in a little bit. I'll we'll bring your food out and we'll show you what we got. All right, y'all. We just got a food. What we got here? I got uh, two chicken breasts, green beans. Looks like may have some. Uh, ham in it and uh, got some uh, mashed potatoes what did you get what is it southern fried chicken with gravy green beans and summer got the same thing i got and also here he got some uh, chicken strips and the uh, french fries all right you ready to eat one I'll try with it and tear into it and we'll see y'all as well. Is your chicken good? 
Mm -hmm. Explain that one, I must have bound it. I done almost got one breath, eight. I think it started on this year, it was real good. My country fried chicken's real good too. How about yours, Summer? Is yours good? It's good. Is yours good, Austin? Sir, you've got one behind you right here. Yeah, I, yeah I'm just oh. waiting on her or him. No, I just noticed this one here. Oh, you got a bear? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. This is what you call a very busy duck. All right. See the. Yeah, go very slow. There, there was one on there was one on the trail up there. Uh, bear up in there and behind. Yeah, really yeah, What we fix to show you here is a Noah Bud Ogle Farm. And it has a trail. I'm not sure if we're gonna be going down a trail. The distance is a three quarter mile trail, it takes about thirty minutes. But um, we might go down part of it, come back. Probably won't go down the whole trail, but we'll go down here and show you this little cabin down here. This is the um, Roaring Fork Nature Trail here in Gatlinburg. And uh, it's real pretty out in here. Got some running water down through here. And we'll show it back here. You can see it a lot better. Alright y'all, here's this uh, Bud Ogle cabin. We're gonna walk down here and I'll take a look inside real quick. It's like a uh, dog trot style cabin. Here's one room right here. Let me see here. Got a back porch back here. Then right here in between the two cabins here. You see this chimney and they got like a granny door or something right there. They use that for some reason. Just walk back in here. Nice big fireplace. Walk in this other part. Here's this other half of the cabin. back here's his front porch there's tasha look at tasha summer and austin hey y'all wait austin trying to take a picture <laughs> back here on his back side up on this front of hill here you'll see his uh barn up in there so we'll take you up there make sure you look at that the nature trail going in behind here is closed. I guess they're doing some kind of maintenance on it. But uh, we're going to go ahead and when we leave here, we're going to go ahead and go on up here. We've got several more cabins we can show you. But uh, we'll be back in a little while and uh, let's see what we can uh, see up the road, Tasha. I can't remember how many more cabins it is. I know at least a couple up through here. Um, so, anything else we missed here? That's about it. Ain't. That's oh, I, I wanted I wanted to go down and show you all that stream creek running through there, but uh, got it roped up. I just kind of show you right through here. What I'm talking about, it's right back behind there. That's where you go through. There. But anyway, y'all, we'll be back in a little while. All right, y'all, come on in here. A little dark in here. Got a cool little breeze here. See out the window? Got a old barn up in there. All right. 
Feels good in here now that breeze coming through there. It feels good. It's got different sections right here. I guess they would you know keep chickens or whatever. Maybe corn and good things. Nice storage area up top. I was here one time, my mom and daddy, and I, I got up on top, didn't I, Tasha? You did. I got up on top, and they came around the side and came in here, and I jumped out and scared them, y'all. <laughs> I got them good. So I'll, I'll always remember that about this particular barn here, me scaring them when they came through. It was daddy, I believe, wasn't it? <laughs> Driving down this motor trail here at Roaring Fork. And um, we're going to be going to our next stop. I'm not sure. I can't remember what it is. Which that car is backing up. They won't mount. Okay, they don't want out. They just want to back up. We're going to go on. Real pretty for you here, you
All right, y'all. Here's this uh, second cabin. Let's see what it is here. It's got a couple outbuilding here, barn. Um, called an Alex Cole cabin. It's been a long time since I've stopped here. I, I, Tasha had to tell me about it. I can't even remember it. Place. Take a look at the back side here. Got a split rail fence coming around the back side up here. It's pretty up here. See the trees here, they're starting to turn just a little bit, not much. Supposed to look at this little barn up here. Look at that. These are kind of built similar to the other. Little barn got each different little stalls in it. And up at the top here, got some storage up here. So, I'll try this a second little cabin there on the, at the apron bells place. See right here, she's a short little lady. You see. It, uh, her name was Nervy Bells. Right, this picture is about 1930. So, uh, let's see. Here's a picture of him right there, Ethan. But anyway, y'all, let's take a look at this cabin here. And if you'll notice, <laughs> if you'll notice here, how short the door is. Um, I'm staying right out here, outside of here. You kind of see right there, kind of got a duck coming into it. And here, it's just a, another little small cabin with a small room, a fireplace here. And uh, let's walk over here this other side. These dog trot cabins were very common back in the when I was building these for different reasons. Oh, it's dark in here. I don't know if y'all can see or not. But uh, there's another little small fireplace. You see out here. Door. Let's walk this up and outside. Let's walk on out here, y'all. See the back side of this cabin. They got like a barn, looks like, back off in here. And uh, here's some water running back in there. This is the back side. There's Tasha and Summer. And there's a little structure over here. I'm not really sure what they use that for. But a lot of these dog trot cabins, they were built sometimes, you know, separate. It was like built one part up and then they come back, build another part. And also they use that um, the breezeway in between the two. You know, they would do a lot of times their, you know, they might do their work out there where it be you know vegetables shucking corn or sowing or whatever they need to do and uh, they just uh so it's always been kind of uh interesting to me a dog trot log cabin but they're just built out of uh you know a lot of these logs like I say just cut the trees down cut them up and built them as they went, you know, and then they to make it bigger, more room, they just added on to it. And sometimes they maybe cooked on one side and uh, lived on the other side. 
Come here, Austin. Let's take a picture. So there's Austin right here, and that's that's him standing at that door, y'all. And here's me standing beside Austin. Right there, stay there, son. That's that's the difference right there. I kind of show you this door like literally less than probably five feet right there, y'all. But anyway, y'all, just want to show y'all this cabin right here. And we'll head on down the road. And uh, not sure how many more we got there to show y'all, but we'll show you as we get to them. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. Y'all see right there is a little white house up in there. We're not gonna stop at that. But uh, that's also on this uh, nature trail here. We just entered the uh, Smoky Mountain National Park and uh, we're gonna be heading back toward Townsend this direction. We just got through uh, coming from Gatlinburg. And you can see right there the sign the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Giving y'all a little view of what it looks like through here. And uh, y'all just uh, sit back and take a little ride with us. Traffic. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not going that way, y'all. 
that's why I like staying over in um, Townsend because you don't have to worry about you know this right here. It, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot nicer over at this side. So we're just going going down through here, and uh, we'll bring you back uh, when we either get back to the cabin or we uh, stop to do something else there. I'm not sure what this is called, but it's, it's called the sinks. The sinks. Okay, I said it's called a sinks. But uh, anyway, I'm just gonna show y'all some of that. And walk on around here. back to the cabin here and Austin he's smiling he wants to ring this bell so we're gonna let him ring his bell go here Austin do a little bit more than that boy <laughs> he's scared too you want daddy to do it for you wow that was loud Tasha all right, we better get inside. We're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> All right, y'all. We had a good day. Uh, we're gonna be showing y'all the video, different things kind of did today. And uh, so, if it's going inside, try to get this uh, put together for y'all. And uh, appreciate y'all coming along with us. And as always, friends from my family years, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye bye.